you last night, Ryan? How's your voice sound today, Ryan? <laughs> the original gate and entrance to the Cornish estate and it's right along Route 9D. This is their driveway. So this place was actually built by Sigmund Stern and it was a giant 650 acre estate with a farm, uh, Jersey cows, but he didn't live there for long because the Cornish family bought this. Edward and Selina Cornish and Edward and Selina passed away within two weeks of each other and from there the property was passed to their nephew Joel who took care of it until a fire in 1958, which is why it looks the way it does. Oh, that's cool. That is the tile. So we can see some of the tile that is still on the fireplaces. And just the stack of fireplaces is crazy. Look at this. It'll just be a big cold house, I'm sure, right here. It was very cold in the winter. Got wind coming off the Hudson right there. There it is. That's awesome. Yeah, they have a they had a view. Let's go to the pool now. Let's take a swim. This I love. The brickwork that you can see all along in here. That's cool, right? And you can see where it was painted blue. There's still chipping paint. It's crazy. And there's an indent right there where I think water must have poured in. What do you think? You see that? I do. That must have been where water came in, right? Yep. There's also a corner over there that's rounded that I bet underneath all that rubble is stairs. That's pretty cool. For sure, there's just stairs in the woods. I love that. Should we go all the way down? Let's get as far as we can get. You bet. Came all this way. Let's see the shit. All right, we're going down. We're inspired by our friends from J and M Explorations. They see everything. <laughs> Something that is like in the riverbed, but stacked stone rocks in a circle. That I... What do you think this was? I can't think of a reason for that other than a water feature because they could. <laughs> And there's the Hudson.
Oh, sorry. I just got in a shot. <laughs> This to harness the water power and then just was the farm industry. The whole street. A little bit of a cemented area here. explored a whole bunch of the outbuildings here. Obviously there's not much left, but there is. You can see the iron window frame still in that one. So down there is the waterway. You can see the little waterfall there. Across that. And we're up there. Right down there. And there's more of their driveway and the road. There's just so much here that is landscaped all along this area. It's hard to tell exactly what it was used for. Look at this. Nice. Water, waste. There is a piece of iron railing here still. And pipes and beams, a lot of the ceiling beams that are left from everything. Look, here's some old ass glass sold. It's even sort of rounded off. Cool. They get a tint to them with well, age and being they oxidize. In the That's what happens to glass when it ages. Yep. And here is an old nail. I got a sweet macro picture of that. We'll insert that in the video. Just because I'm proud of it. Okay. It's awesome. I'm not sure this could be a slaughterhouse because look at the tunnel going on. I know, there's a tunnel and like a trough and like a... Uh... I'm thinking it's at least a possibility. We're just a little bit of ways away from a tiny little pump house that we're gonna go check out that would utilize the water for power for the estate. is the end of the road, I guess. We got to the end of the driveway. We followed the estate driveway all the way around past the waterfall and up here. And then it just comes to an abrupt end. Just no more pavement, no more concrete. Don't drive off the edge of your own mountain. I don't know, but that's cool. Followed the whole way. And once again, I lost Ryan, he's down. He's trying to get as close to the water as possible. Yeah, hug that tree. 
Oh, hey. What's up? You're not coming down? Good. Okay, I'm coming. Too shabby though. He came out alive. A little dirt there. Just off the Hudson River is a random pool from the early uh, 20th century. I like it. That's a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. Looks like this might have been at one point wooden stairs. Some sort of cellar. Is that metal roofing right there? Uh-huh. And then over here, there's some stairs down and just knocked in with the rubble. So this must have been maybe a walkway along the road. You can see the road there. Billy, go head to the cellar. Right? Right. Yeah. Right see the greenhouse. Come back at night. Should we investigate this legit? I think it's worthy of some study at night. Right? Some quiet corners here. Yeah. Kind of spooky. 